Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to another PlayStation review. Today I'm taking a look at AEW Fight Forever, the newest wrestling game that is focused on the AEW brand of wrestling. Now this was released earlier this week, uh, the footage you're seeing is from my PlayStation 5, however it is also available on PlayStation 4. Now, what are my thoughts on AEW Fight Forever? Well, um, if you do follow my content on the channel, you will probably know that generally every year I will review the newest uh, WWE 2K game that is released. I've been a big fan of wrestling for a few years. Not as big as I used to be, but generally I still do enjoy playing wrestling games. So I do enjoy the WWE 2K games um, for the most part anyway. So I've been quite looking forward to this AEW Fight Forever game, mainly because um, it is being kind of said that this is going to be like the uh, successor to WWE No Mercy that came out years ago that many, does, many believe is one of the greatest wrestling games of all time. And it is a game I played back in the day, and it was a fantastic wrestling game, very, very addictive. So that's kind of what they were aiming for here, to try and give us a bit of a successor to that game. Make it a lot more fun, a lot more arcadey. So I was interested in this for that reason. I am not necessarily what you would describe as um, like a super fan of AEW. Of course I'm aware of the franchise, the brand. Um, I have seen some of the wrestling, but I generally follow WWE, not AEW. But I'm obviously aware of many of the wrestlers in that brand because many of them are ex WWE wrestlers. So, what do you get with AEW Fight Forever? Well, if you directly compare this game to the 2K games, the WWE games, they're not going to. It's not really going to be a fair comparison. Um, there are far more modes on the 2K games for the WWE game uh, than there is on this. For example, you get Universe Mode on the 2K games, you get now the General Manager Mode. Um, th there's a lot more modes on there, as well as your Career Modes uh, and everything like that. Here, really you've got a fairly limited options in regards to modes. You've got an Exhibition Mode. You've got your Singles, your Tag Teams, your, your uh, Triple Threat, your Fatal 4 Ways, Battle Royals, all that kind of stuff. But you don't get much in the way of choices within those modes. You know, you've got like lights out match, which essentially is no DQ and things like that. You've got a ladder match and their version of a Royal Rumble match. Um, but there is quite a lot missing here. There's, there's, you are limited in your options for um, the different type of wrestling matches. Um, so just be aware of that going into it. Beyond that, the exhibition match, there's only really the career mode to speak of in regards to offline mode sort of thing. You've got the career mode, um, which we'll talk about a little bit more a little bit later. Um, and then you've got your online mode, so you can play, you can play matches uh, online. I've had a couple of goes at that. I'm not really an online player, but just be aware that you can certainly play online. It's not too... Uh, the complexity and the standard of the 2k games again but you can certainly do that and there are the mini games which you may or may not have seen um, prior to this game coming out if that's your thing there's plenty to choose from you start off with a small amount of mini games and then you can unlock more by playing through the career mode the road to elite um, I'm not interested in the mini games I'm not gonna lie um, I guess I can understand why they've put them in there to try and make it stand out and be a little bit different. But for me, it's just not for me um, at all. Now, the gameplay itself here is far more arcade and fast-paced than the 2K games, which rely more on... Or they, or they certainly try and be more like simulations, the 2K games. Um, they've tried to, I think, over the last two or three incarnations of their games, make it a little bit more fast-paced. But this is much more fast-paced. Uh, the matches uh, uh, don't last anywhere near as long. Um, they work much more on momentum than anything. And none of the wrestlers are, like, um, rated. Like, on the 2K games, you know, you've got your top wrestler, like Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns, they're like, high up in the 90s, and it makes them more difficult to beat. Whereas everybody here is on the same... Um, playing field they're all nobody scored no you know 
so nobody's really on paper stronger than anybody else. There are some wrestlers like um, the Big Show, or should I say Paul White, who um, is difficult to pick up and stuff like that in regards to the size of them. But for the most part, you know, um, everybody's um, pretty evenly matched here. And that's another thing I think this game does have going for it. You know, many of the wrestlers that you're playing with feel quite unique. They feel like they've got distinct um, move sets and varied move sets. And I do like the animations for the most part. I think it's a little bit janky at times and the and the clip detection is can be really poor and frustrating especially in the ladder matches and if there's too many in the ring at the same time they just get caught on each other and they just kind of just get stuck trying to walk over other wrestlers um, and the AI is exceptionally poor at times for the computer controlled wrestlers at times they just you know it's just poor the ai and when you're used to the wwe 2k games and they're not anything outstanding but they are uh, certainly a league ahead in regards to this game in regards to the ai anyway um the roster as well is fairly limited there's you start off with just over 50 wrestlers i think it is uh, there is some female wrestlers on there not a huge amount and there are some more wrestlers that you can unlock by playing through the um, career mode, the Road to Elite, and there is some DLC that you can get as well, very much like the 2K games, where you'll get um, a couple of packs of DLC later down the line with some other wrestlers being added to the roster. But it, it's not a huge roster by any stretch of the imagination. The creation suite we need to talk about, again, it can't be compared and I feel like I'm comparing this game unfairly at times to the 2k games but if you like to go into these games and create your own wrestler um, the creation suite is is pretty bare bones compared to what you'll be used to and there is no community creations here so you can't go online and download um, other talented creators creations of your favorite wrestlers either in this promotion or other promotions like WWE which I think is a bit um, bit of a letdown i would have hoped they would have done that but when you actually look at the creation suite probably many of the wrestlers that had been created by people would probably look very little like the wrestlers you would like them to do because the creation suite is so limited unfortunately um now the the career mode i think is a lot of fun i'm not gonna lie you could go into the career mode as a male or a female as uh, one of the existing wrestlers I chose Cody Rhodes, or you can go in there with a created wrestler. Um, and then, essentially, very similar to what you're used to, you will, you will do the weekly shows, you start off, uh, you'll, get caught, you'll get a call on your phone, you'll do like their version of the Royal Rumble. Um, and then you take it from there, basically. You take the career where you want to take it, and it's a full 12 months career sort of thing. Um, in between each week sort of thing you get you get like breaks you can go and have meals you can uh, recuperate and get medical attention because you do get injured in the game which i think is pretty nice there's very little in the way of commentary in the matches in fact there's none um, and any voiceovers that you get from like some cutscenes and stuff there, there is no voice acting in the cutscenes. But like, um, if a pop-up comes up with Jim Ross or something, you'll get a bit of a voiceover then and on some of the entrances um, in Road to Elite. But it's very stilted uh, voiceover work here. It's nothing to write home about. It feels like something from 10 or 15 years ago in a wrestling game. Uh, and it's a bit, it's a bit uh, shocking when you can, like I say, when you can do compare it to other uh, wrestling games on the market. But if you're looking for a quick pick-up-and-play wrestling game um and you, you you know you want something that is it feels fairly unique and it is quite enjoyable to play it is quite easy to get used to the controls you could far do far worse than this one if you're not a fan of the 2k games because they're too slow for you or you don't like the simulation aspect of it this one is going to be for you i would suggest um it's a lot more fun to play in a lot of ways it's just fairly limited but it's a fairly strong start as well to this series of games. So hopefully they can add more and improve it next year going forward. So I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. I hope you found it useful. I will, of course, be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.